Have you seen the new 2024-14 software update? It comes with a lot of changes. There's some visual updates. User interference v12 elevates your visual experience with the following updates. Immersive full screen vehicle controls when you park. Large playback controls and quick access to recent favorite. And up next in media player. Then you get expandable autopilot driving visualization with a smaller map in the corner for trip gradients. I really like that, that you can now make a big screen because that was before only possible with FSD. And still it shows your map now. Then you have Audible. Now you can listen to your Amazon Audible. You just scan the QR code to get in. Then you have Spotify Q on playback speed. And course all, all vehicles and devices. And you can adjust the playback speed. Then the preview of your sentry mode recordings and sentry triggers your uh, vehicle alarm and records an event. You can immediately preview a brief clip of the recording on your phone. Also press and hold the notification to watch the recording. In your vehicle settings, you must have sentry dashcam turn on. And you need to have a USB thumb drive installed, of course, otherwise sentry doesn't work. And you have to have the newest iPhone and the premium connectivity. Then speed camera chime. Uh, now you have a chime when you're approaching a speed camera, turn on navigation to turn speed camera chime in your vehicle settings on. Then um, trip progress bar. So you see now on the bottom a progress bar where it shows you the road is clear or some traffic is coming ahead. It's pretty cool. Then you can choose a better route, which was not before possible. Then wiper controls. Now the scroll wheel, when you press the vapor button on the few vapor controls, you can now adjust vapor speed by moving the left scroll wheel up or down. Vapor buttons, when you have the vapor set to 1, 2, 3, or you can press the vapor button to cycle through speeds. Then you have some security improvements. And some other updates include that when you park, you can expand the browser to full screen. You can now swipe to delete sentry mode recording in the dash cam app. Also, when you have wallet mode on, your vehicle is unlocked or shifted out of park, you can receive a notification on your phone. And the Vampire Survivor game has an update and the arcade includes the latest game update for Polytopia. So now look at this. When you park, you actually have a new full screen, which is like this. And also you see the navigation is active. And also you see here how the trip will go. You can spin the car around how you want it. When we put into drive, Oh, I don't have the phone key connected. But when, when you would drive, you see the same thing. Now the car like in FSD and the map is still up there on top. So that's pretty cool what's new here. I really like it. The visualization is a little bit different. Of course, it's an update. And I hope you like this information about the new update. If you notice anything else which is not mentioned in the notification, please comment below. I'm really curious about it. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.